headline one day, Red Robber. It was appalling, wasn't it? The company was brought to its knees by a relatively small number of, of people. Um, Cowley was, was quite bad as well. What's changed? Well, I think a lot of people felt that Michael Edwards played a big role in taking that company to its knees. And you know, where leadership is concerned, I think uh, you know, business leaders who are mature and recognise that wealth creation depends on their workforce look for a very different kind of relationship for the long term. But you also need to remember, as I'm sure you do, that some of the conditions that people were working in, uh, frankly, did not befit the dignity that they deserved. Uh, that people get frustrated when they're not respected at work, when they're not given dignity. And that's why many people join unions in the first place. Yeah. They so that, that company that your father worked for has now turned around. Why has that happened? Yeah, it is a shame though, isn't it, that it took 30 years or more before we saw green minis running off the production line at Cowley when the unions had thought of it 30 years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shame. But I think it's, it is a, a good news story for Britain. And in fact, I think the performance of the motor industry in Britain is propping up uh, the limited good news that there is. But isn't that really due to heavy. some investment from the Far East, I mean, all the money that's going into the car industry in this country tends to come from uh, people who are uh, behind BMW, behind Jaguar. Well, investment is absolutely critical, and that's why unions are very keen to see this 425 billion cash power that corporate Britain is currently sitting on invested in R&D, decent wages for sure, but R&D, skills, new plant and equipment for the future. So investment, you're right, is absolutely vital to any serious industrial strategy for the future. Um, I think people would like to see some more domestic investment going into British industry too. Right, what, like what? Well, we identified, along with many others, a whole range of areas where Britain, if you like, has natural strengths, whether that's in renewables, from, uh, certainly in this part of the country, wave, uh, tidal power, um, whether it's uh, some of our traditional areas like aerospace, high, uh, highly advanced manufacturing. There's a whole, and of course, creative industries. This isn't just all about production. Um, in the traditional sense, it's also about our many strengths on the creative industry side too. So there's a whole range of areas where if we all pull together, government, unions and business, I think we could start accelerating uh, some of our growth and working to our collective strengths.